thinking about running deals for both Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Well, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do it in this step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group. And if you stay until the end of the video, I'm also gonna be giving you some pro tips to make sure these advertisements run. Let's dive in. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go into Amazon Seller Central and you're gonna to go to the advertising panel and you're simply going to go to Prime Exclusive Discounts. Once you're here, it's going to look just like this. You're going to simply click Create Discount and then you're going to say this is a Black Friday and a Cyber Monday discount. It's going to cost $50. In my professional opinion, the 50 bucks is totally worth it because it stops all of those Chinese and random sellers from enrolling in this program. They don't wanna spend 50 bucks, so they're not going to run it and it's going to be you and a lot less sellers than it was last year. So totally worth it for 50 bucks. Now you're gonna name the discount Cyber Monday, Black Friday, 2024, just so I know. Now you're going to click save and add products. But before you do that, read the right side. Make sure that all of your listings are eligible. You do need a four star rating in order to be eligible. Products without reviews are not eligible. So just triple check that. Next, you're gonna click save and add products. You're gonna add your SKU, your discount amount, your prime discount, your minimum price, and you're gonna click add, and then you're gonna click submit products, and you are good to go, my friend. Now for staying towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving you some extra tips, and tip number one is to stay in stock. So during this time, it's going to be nuts. Make sure you stay in stock. I recommend to have four times as much inventory as you usually do. If you can't send it into Amazon's Fulfillment Center, you can always use Amazon AWD. To access Amazon AWD, you're just going to go to Warehousing and Distribution tab. You're gonna click on that and you can send your inventory in to there. Tip number two is right when you create this. So right when you create this, you're gonna go back to the Prime and Discounts tab and you're going to make sure the status is A-OK. -okay. It shouldn't say error, it shouldn't say expired, it shouldn't say listings are search suppressed, it should say ready to initiate or active and good to go. So that's tip number one. Number two is the day right before Black Friday and right before Cyber Monday, you're gonna come back and check the status. You're gonna make sure it doesn't say any listings are search suppressed and it's still good to go. Right on Black Friday, I don't care if you're on vacation or whatever, on Black Friday and on Cyber Monday, you wanna wake up early and you just wanna double check the status. Just make sure it's A-OK -okay again, right? So again, you're checking right when you create this, you're checking the day before and you're checking on the same day to make sure it's running. One of our clients came to us and said, oh my gosh, we forgot to totally check our status and now our products aren't running. So we have to come in and fix it for it. So you have to check your status or else you might miss out on a huge sales event. And I mean, it's huge. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you learned something new, please do drop a like. And if you learned, if you are an Amazon seller, I highly recommend you subscribe to the channel. If you do need help selling on Amazon, contact ehpconsultinggroup.com in the description for more. And that's it. I'm Josh Hackett signing out.